the urban development process in the Devesa. As you approach the Devesa forest, you may be surprised to find the tall buildings that soar above the trees. These are left over from the 1960s when the entire area was almost turned into a tourist resort and residential zone, which was not built in its entirety in the end. From the time it became the property of the Valencia City Council up until the 1960s, the Albufera and the Devesa had remained intact. During that period, however, in the midst of the Spanish tourism boom, an urban development process began in the Devesa. The plan included numerous high-rise apartment buildings, a vast network of roads, a marina surrounded by mansions, and even a race course. In the late 1970s, pressure from citizens acting under the motto of El Saler per el Poble, El Saler for the People, managed to stop this urban development through an unprecedented environmental movement. But by that time, much had changed in the Devesa. Roads, parking areas, drinking water and sewage systems, housing developments and a promenade had all been built. Moreover, the moving dunes were destroyed and the dune slacks filled in. The land was leveled, wiping out the rolling silhouette typical of dune environments. These were the darkest years experienced by the Albufera. Urban clusters and industrial parks built nearby dumped their wastewater directly into the lake. In just a few years, the Albufera was transformed from having clear waters with a diversity of plant and animal life to having murky green waters from the proliferation of phytoplankton. The aquatic plants and a large number of animal species disappeared. In the early 1980s, Valencia City Council implemented a plan to recover these valuable ecosystems, which continues to this day. Of note, for example, are the results obtained in the regeneration of the dunes that had been decimated. 